Welcome back to our I Am Second Day coverage. It has been a long but fantastic day. One that we will remember for a long time to come. Absolutely, but maybe we'll get some sleep at some point. <laughs> we hope you have been learning more about what the movement of I Am Second is all about, as well as some of the different ways we can help and equip you to go from viewing to doing. Taking action from our I Am Second content and putting into action a lifestyle that puts Jesus first and shares the hope with others. Christina, you know this, but we release about a dozen new I Am Second films every year. We do. And each one has their own unique way of connecting with different audiences. But one film in 2022 surprised us at how it universally resonated with all groups of people. The film with Michael Moulton called Confessions of a Felon. Yes, since Michael's story revolves around him going to prison, you would think that it would really only connect with those in prison, their families, and the friends of prisoners, and it did but it has become one of the most viewed films in the last two years, connecting with people of all ages, all backgrounds, all interested in the message of freedom that Michael found. Mm -hmm. and we're pleased that Michael can join us on I Am Second Day as he speaks with our contributing writer, John Seidel. Hey, Jeremy, thank you so much. Michael, I am so excited to be here. It's so great to have you. Oh, man. Yeah, <laughs> it's great to be here. I love I Am Second. I just love what it does and the messages it delivers the gospel from all walks of life, and um, I'm honored to be a second. I think yeah. that's really cool. What has life been like since the film came out? It's been unbelievable. I mean, it's opened so many doors for M2 The Rock. Um, the amount of views that it got over all the platforms is just you know, astronomical. And so uh, it's helped a lot of people, number one. That, that's, what, that's the main reason. And a lot of people have reached out to us and uh, encouraged you know, to keep going and, um, and also to reach out to say, hey, um, you know, you've really helped me um, to get off drugs, alcohol. You've really opened my eyes um, about how simple you made Christ, you know, and the relationship I have with Christ. Um, it's not this church of Jesus or anything like that. It's the real Christ, and he loves me no matter what. Are there any specific stories that people have shared with you about, you know, where they were at, their rock bottom, that have just kind of blown you away? Yes, um, there's a lot of them. You know, the, the I Am Second film and audio was in all the tablets and all the prisons yeah. in the entire country. So that really touched a lot of people reaching out, basically just saying uh, they didn't feel alone and, and they really, it gave them hope. And a lot of those people aren't coming home. You know, that is their home. So it gave them a lot of hope and they want more. Yeah, they want more. Now, there's something that's always been fascinating to me when you watch your video. And if you haven't seen Michael's video, you got to go watch it. But there's there's a story you tell, right, where you start reading the Bible because you, your celly, right, can't can't read, right? right? right. Uh, whatever happened to that celly, right? Like, well, what's the story there? He's still locked up. He's still locked. He's still up. locked up. You know, I don't know his free world name, but he doesn't realize how God used him uh, to change so many lives and and to be. To be really accurate about the story, the book that I was reading was Detours by Dr. Tony Evans. Oh. And as he's sharing the story about Joseph, I could relate. And then that's what led me into the Bible because I was a new Christian. I was clumsy. Yeah. You know, I'm not quoting scripture in yeah. prison. I don't know what I'm talking about. But then it led me into the Living Recovery Bible that for 10 soups, or 11 soups, which is $11, I bought from a gangbanger and started reading the Living Recovery Bible and it just came alive. You know, I, I think what's cool about that, even just that little micro story, right, is God can use anyone, right? Maybe. You don't even know this guy's name. You, no. you, you know, you don't even know really what's going on, but he, God used him. Yeah, and what's amazing is, is that when Pastor Evans started Oak Cliff Bible Fellowship many years ago, he used to drive around in a van or a truck and pick people up to bring them to church. And Uwe, uh, he picked Uwe up to bring to church one time because I didn't know who he was, and Uwe told me who he was and how God used Dr. Evans to go through Uwe to me. So, wow. And, okay. and continue paying it forward. Right. So, um, so now we've talked a little bit about kind of what's been going on since the, the film. I, I hear you've got a book that you're working on. Tell yes. us about that. Well, we just um, signed with uh, Krishanda Lee Perez out of Los Angeles, who um, is an incredible writer. She's very picky about, you know, what she wants to do. Um, and my story really touched her. So we're writing the book, 300 Miles is gonna be the name of it. The journey I made once I got released from prison, yeah. 300 miles. And so we started that and I'll tease it, possibly a movie. Wow. Yeah, possibly, really, really probably will be, but yeah. we're really looking into that. So it's amazing. Thanks you, to I Am Second. 
So you talk about rock bottom, right? So, so what's been your message to those people who are like, eh, man, I, 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 there's no hope for me. Well, what I always share with people is this, is that the most powerful thing that I said was, I don't know. Um, I don't know why I'm doing the things I'm doing. I, I don't know why I, I drink. I don't know why I do drugs. I don't know why I get angry. And why do I keep doing it over and over? And once I said that, uh, I said, I don't know. Uh, God started performing the supernatural. It was a true surrender. I guess we can call it repentance. Um, so I truly repented and I was willing to go to any length uh, to get well. Um, I said that as a non-believer and then my spiritual awakening happened. But for the answer your question, for people who are at rock bottom is to simply do that. If it's drugs or alcohol, you know, uh, if find someone who's in recovery from drugs and alcohol and literally say, I don't know why I'm doing the things I'm doing, can you help me? We are all addicts. We're addicted to sin. We're addicted to visible things to try to fix our invisible problems, which I still struggle with today, but I recognize it. Amen. I recognize it and I give it to Christ. I know that I need a savior, right? right? So don't expect me to be perfect, right? You can call me a hypocrite because there are times I'm going to be right. a hypocrite. That's right. right. You know? And you know, one thing is, is that when we, when we turn our life over to Christ, okay, it's not about getting good. It's about getting well. Mm. And so many people like me, I was so ashamed of being bad. Um, and I thought I was a bad person. God doesn't create bad. And so once I surrendered and, and said that, um, you know, I'm here to get well. I'm not here to get good. I know I'm a good person. Yeah. yeah. Where can people go to kind of learn more about the ministry that you've been building and for updates, whether it's the book or hopefully the film, right? Yeah. Where, where can they go? Just go to m2therock.com is our website. Yeah. Um, and, it, and it has the I Am Second film on our homepage. That's yeah. the first thing they see. Um, and then you just scroll down and all of our social media platforms are there. We're very active on social media. Yeah, I see on Instagram yeah. all the time, yeah. And now we have a nonprofit, uh, you know, Lee McGuire, who is the president of M2 The Rock Services, where we provide services to help people get into treatment that can't afford it mm -hmm. and also qualify, you know. Mm -hmm. So we qualify them to make sure that they're willing to get ready um, and we take them down the M2 um, recipe that's worked for me. Well, listen, as uh, a family member of a sister who struggled with heroin addiction um, her entire life and um, who passed away, um, I, I just really appreciate what you do, right? It, it's near and dear to my heart. And I think, like you said, it should be near and dear to everyone's heart because we are all addicts. Yeah, right? we are all addicts. So I really appreciate it, Michael. Thanks, yeah. for, thanks for coming on and sharing your heart. Thank you, man. Yeah. I appreciate you. God bless you. All right, Christina, we're going to throw it back to you. Michael's story continues to inspire me, and his story, along with many other I Am Second films, are found in special resources we have developed for use in prisons in similar situations, which are available for any individuals or group ministering in those places. And you can find those at IAmSecond.com. And that is a great example of how you can use I Am Second as you interact with others in your life. Use our tools and resources, share the films, learn to tell your story, get trained in sharing the gospel. We are equipping you to be used by God. That's what we want you to take away from I Am Second Day. And we hope that you have also heard the message that I Am Second is a ministry of value to which you can donate. As a nonprofit organization, we have relied upon people just like you for the last 15 years to support us financially. Today, we ask that you join that team with a gift of any amount. And if this is your first gift to I Am Second, it will be matched 100% by an existing generous donor. We so value your interest and support of I Am Second. Just like we said this morning, everything we do is meant to bring glory to God as we inspire, encourage, train, and help you take next steps in your spiritual journey. Although our I Am Second day is set to expire at 12 midnight, the movement goes on 24 seven as you take action following Jesus with obedience and purpose. And as you do that, let us know how God is working in your life so we can pray for you and cheer for you. See you out there.